fall is just around the corner, and while we are still patiently waiting for a change in temperatures, <laughs> the calendar is definitely bringing a change to our palates, at least. Especially when it comes to those fall beers. And Sean Norquist is back with a look at the new craft brews that are now available. And Carly and I, we joke all the time, Sean, about clothes. I am not wear white after Labor Day. Carly tells me I'm crazy. I live in, in Florida. Florida. I mourn that, but do you know what gets me over that morning inside? <laughs> yes, yes. This gets this gets us over a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, this is the time of year where we, um, you know, we, we close our eyes and we pretend that uh -huh, the air is uh -huh. changing. We pretend <laughs> that it's not 90 degrees outside, uh, that we aren't still looking at hurricanes on the horizon. Oh, um, said the H word. Yes, uh, but this is where we we start to get some of the uh, the fall flavors coming into our beer selections. So from when the, do they officially hit the stores? Is it like now? They're already there. Yeah. Okay, okay. all right. We're already there. Um, you know, there's some people refer to it as seasonal creep. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but they, you know, they come out a little earlier each a little bit year. earlier each year but you know they're um, they're popular you know some some of them are um, you know are, are very divisive some people get very you know worked up about certain mm -hmm. types of, of the fall beers um, I really like to enjoy all of them uh, <laughs> so we're actually going to start with you know this is a I don't discriminate are at any all. of these new or are these in back fact, by yes, popular, popular sev demand? several of these are new in fact okay. uh, uh, all, almost all of them are new so oh. this is actually called uh, Booker Lake uh, Lager this is from Flying Boat in, in St. Pete they okay. actually just for the first time, canned this yesterday. Oh wow! So this is, this is literally this is the first. This is breaking news, okay. um, and actually will not be available until I think later this week. So um, this good. is a standard Vienna lager. This is a, a good um, fall this beer. Is as traditional as they come when it comes to beers. Um, people who are not sure if they want to try getting into craft beer, this is a great place to start because this will remind them That's of, of like a lot it. of beers like, they really yeah, like. You know, That's lighter good. side. Right. I like it. I don't want to mess These up your big pours. Where, Sean, you're going to get us in trouble this morning. <laughs> no kidding. And, and you know, like I said, I love the setup too. Good, good job with the leaves there. Well, we you try to do some color like coordination. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, you know, at least if we can't feel it outside, we can see it in front of us. Let's at least put our fall wreath up now. That's what I've been Sean waiting for. He doesn't just do beers, he also does <laughs> decorations. Yeah, Who knew? My, my wife might uh, take exception to that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure right she's now. laughing. That's for your wife. So this is another. So this is a very different. So this is actually a farmhouse style, but this is made uh, with what a little more hops. Mean? So a farmhouse style is, is a traditional style that comes out of Europe. It's going to be funkier. It, this one has a little bit more hopped, hopped up. Oh yeah. Um, this is actually a collaboration between Green Bench Brewing in St. Pete and uh, Crooked Thumb up in Safety Harbor. Uh, it's called oh. Green Thumb. Okay, so, I like it, uh, and so it's, it's different. It is. It's a little it's a stronger, it's a, which is funny because it's lighter. So you assume that it's because it's lighter yeah, and, in color. And I will, I will always go back to saying, don't worry about the color okay. of it because that's not indicative of anything other than the malts that okay. we use. Now we get to we get into your wheelhouse here. Sean, this is why we love this you. Is, you know me. This is a pumpkin ale, straight up pumpkin ale. This is from. Is this a new one? Okay. This, this actually, this is the one repeat that we've had. This is called Drop Dead Gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> I, love P, I love Saint this. From St. Pete Brewing Company. Uh, this is a. Uh, it's a pumpkin ale. It's. It's not. Doesn't have a lot of the spices. It really focuses more on that. On that pumpkin flavor, so not pumpkin pie, but actually pumpkin. Yeah, you know, like the, the actual pumpkin. The actual Absolutely. pumpkin itself. And you know what? I struggle with this time of year too. And I'm, I know you're not in this boat, but I kind of forget which ones I like and mm -hmm. which ones I don't. Every time that the fall creep does start happening, I'm like, wait, is this one I like? Is this one I don't? That's why I keep a list. Wait, <laughs> I need to start doing that. You, you need just to send me a list. That's and then right. We'll yeah, do or, that or just, or just call me. Yeah. That's right. Done and done. And so now we get to the the uh, the big daddy of this one. So this is from Tampa Bay Brewing Company. This is a barrel aged amaretto pumpkin stout. So, oh, okay, wait. Who, there's like cherry flavor in No, amaretto okay. with almonds. Okay, almonds. almonds. Yes. Okay. okay, wait, where's it from? From Tampa Bay Brewing Company. Now, time out. Yes, I'm the, confused they're, they're, here. You know where I'm going, Sean. I do. This is the same brewery that makes your your favorite, the. Uh, the Gord's oh. Gone Wild. Gord's Gone Wild. This is a 12% pumpkin stout uh, aged in whiskey barrels and then aged on a whole slew of spices, including uh, and with almonds and. Uh, nutmeg and allspice and cinnamon, all the, all that kind of stuff. This tastes like Thanksgiving in a glass. And so, is this new? This is new. Yes. So I love that they're kind of even doing more, even though they've got one already that's mm -hmm. so fabulous. Yeah. So okay. this, I really enjoy this one. This is something really special. You can get this at the brewery. Mmm. You smell it even yeah. before you taste it. Yes. Oh, that's good. Tampa Bay Brewing Company again. I always love your fall beers. If you just want to oh, give beer. me that keg too of that Gord's Gone Wild. We'll welcome right. that as well. Station might not welcome it, but I welcome it. Sean, we always love when you're here. Come yeah. back soon. We okay. welcome you every oh, time. Thank you very much. Awesome right. stuff. Right there. We'll be right back.